it has been so long since I've done a video. So I'm back um, and my hair grew as you can see. Um, I believe I'm three, going on four years natural. Like once you go natural, it's like you forget how long you've been natural. So I'm probably gonna like, I think I've been natural since 2017. So yeah, like three years going on. I think this January will be three years. Anywho, my hair has grown like wildflower and it's now um, longer than it's ever been relaxed. So I am loving my natural hair. Um, I'm loving the whole experience. I am still tender headed AF, but <laughs> I manage. Um, if you guys want me to do like um, a product uh, video on like what I use and like my tips on um, you know, keeping up with your natural hair and being tender headed and, you know, all the struggles and accomplishments and greatness that comes with being natural, let me know and I'll make that video. So anyway, I don't know how to braid. Y'all know this. I do not know how to cornrow for my life. So I just brushed my hair back. Um, my hair is blown out. Um, and I just put like two little braids in it and I'm just going to um, lay them down in the back like kind of crisscross them so that they are not hanging out my wig because I've definitely seen that before and that's not cute <laughs> so now I'm just stretching out my little stretchy cap even though I'm gonna cut it um, but it so you don't really have to stretch out your stretchy cap I, I'm just used to doing that with stocking caps um, and yeah, there she is, my beautiful blue wig from the Wig Hub. I love her so much. I wasn't sure how this color was going to look on me because I've never worn a blue like this. And you guys know my pink wig is dark roots. So this is like one of the first wigs that I got in that it's like been that one color all the way through and not dark root. So I was like, I don't know if I could do this, but... I love it. So you guys know the basics. You're cleaning your hairline with alcohol and just making sure that there's no dirt, makeup, residue, grease, leftover edge control in that area. And as you can see, I'm wiping most of my face off. Um, <laughs> so I'm just making sure that area is clean. I'm going in with uh, blah, blah, um, I'm going in with my <laughs> Got to Be Glue gel, and I'm just like brushing my edges back into the stocking cap. Um, and now I'm going to use the Got to Be Glue spray to spray that down. Um, <clears throat> I do like using these products together. I feel like they work the best, um, and. If you just if you don't have the time though, I would just use the spray. It's not gonna last as long as the spray and the glue, but just use the spray. Um, to speed up the process, of course, I'm using a blow dryer, and of course, I'm using it on like cold. Right here, I'm feeling myself. I don't know. I look like uh, <laughs> what's his name, Beetlejuice? How his hair is like halfway <laughs> in the middle of his head, and he's bald in the front. Um, but anyway. I'm very carefully cutting the rest of this off um, because you don't want to cut your face like this part is like very tedious and like you you can't like be all up on yourself and see it like so it's, honestly it's best to have someone else that you trust that knows what they're doing do this part but I mean if you take your time you got it now I'm going in with a powder and this is a powder that's super close to my skin shade um, and then I also put some on the lace of the wig. With this hair, it is like blue. It was originally blonde and dyed blue, so you gotta be careful getting that dark brown powder on the hair because then it starts looking kind of muddy. Um, which I got some powder on there. I just kind of just wiped it away with like a baby wipe, and it was fine. Um, but yeah, now I'm just clipping my hair back, and I'm going to use my what glue am I using? I don't think I'm at that part yet. Oh yeah, I am at that part. Okay, so I'm using Ghost Bond. I got this from Amazon like a while ago. Um, I've had an experience with this glue. Um, I've learned that you do not, do not, I repeat, do not put this on your hair. <laughs> Girl. I've had an experience. I haven't lost many edges, but um, yeah, don't do it. 
don't like you know how I put the gossip glue on my hair don't put the ghost bond on your hair do not do it um, that goes on your skin only and on the lace so anyway brushing the hair back um, I'm putting some mousse in it I think I'm using like motions um, styling mousse <coughs> And I'm trying to figure out how I want to part this hair. Like, I know I want it on the side. Like, my go-to is a side part. Um, I'm not really a middle part girl just sometimes, but, like, my go-to is a side part. I just have a thing for side parts. So I don't know why. Um, probably the, maybe the way my face is shaped. I just feel like um, with my hair not being very symmetrical, it looks better that way. I don't know. I just always feel side parts look best on me so I got this from like um Marshall's and it was like $15.99 it's called true beauty and it's like a flat not a flat iron it's like a curler brush in one so it is plugged in and it does heat up it gets pretty hot um but the brush hairs like the little plastic pieces aren't hot it's the, like the inside of it where the hair touches it so you can see it's like kind of curling my hair um yeah and I also use this to kind of straighten out the hair too straighten and like give it a bump because it was looking kind of dead um later on off camera um I went in well it actually was the next day I went in with um a curling wand and just put some warm curls in it which you will see the result of at the end of the video oh we're at the end of the video um <laughs> so this is what it's looking like i absolutely love this wig i definitely recommend them um leave a comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye